Hi guys, it's me, and I have a haul for you. This is from the flea market, from White's Flea Market. And the little gal that I'm focusing on right now, look at those eyes. It's like they glow, and look at her face. She has just got, if it was a fine wine, <laughs> she'd be rated right up there because she's got this magnificent crackling. I think it is, anyways. But look, look at that. <laughs> but anyways, her and many other things I have to show you. So, here we go, guys. Well, guys, um, this gal, she came with a basket. She was in a basket, but I think I may keep the basket. Um, it was $20. Um, she does have, <laughs> I wouldn't call it minor damage. There's some major damage there. She, her, her leg has been lopped off or something. I had, she's been in a horrible accident, but she still has it. It's still here. It's just not attached. <laughs> so, I don't know. I may work on that. But I think her eyes are wonderful. And I think all of this wonderful crackling. I love it. So, I got her. Um, this vintage Mother Mary planter is just a small little planter. Um, I didn't pay more than like $3 for it. And... <laughs> these guys right here are something else um when i said on the video that i got pickled possum parts i did <laughs> right cheer pickled possum parts roadkill brand and it has i don't know it's i guess it's a novelty item or something but it says um <laughs> it was scraped off the road and thrown in a vat um, there's salt water, pickle brine, um, the best ever, and it says you can eat it from the can or eat it off of a plate. There may be some traces of some blacktop tar or little chunks of metal from underneath the car. <laughs> there's eyeballs and hair and mashed up guts, eyelids and lips and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah. This is an old, oldie. Um, I paid $10 for it. But how often do you see a jar of pickle possum parts? First one for me. I don't know if any of you guys have ever run into it. But I had to buy it. So, it's in the shop. And um, it says copyright 1992. So, it's vintage. This one's probably around the same time frame, and it's another novelty item, Texas Jackrabbit Milk. It says, a balanced diet for unbalanced people, rich in vitamin J-U-M-N-P, richer in vitamin P than beer or water. <laughs> Watermelon. There we go. But... There's the picture. And it says here, a fast action diet for lagging, dragging salesmen, truck drivers, fishermen, hunters, golfers, bowlers, and talkative females. Warning, contains contents may increase intelligence. Keep away from Aggies, Yankees, the Polish and other long-legged SOBs have no idea, but it was made in Irving, Texas. Doesn't have a date on it, but both of these, I guess you can't probably hear it, but it has got a liquid content in it, so I guess it, I don't know if it is milk. Yeah, milk. <laughs> I'm sure it's not any good anymore, but that was $10 too, and this 
has got some kind of something in it, but I couldn't pass them up. They were just too weird. These guys right here, these are from Japan, I think. Um, they're sugared bears. And if you can see closely here, this one has got really good coloring on it. This one seems to be just a bit faded. I'm not sure why, because they came together. But they don't have any chips or cracks or anything, and I paid $6 for the pair. This right here is called a spill vase. It is made in Czechoslovakia, depending on the type of bird, I guess. is dependent upon how, I guess, sought after it is. But I paid $10 for this, no chips or cracks or anything, and it's called a spill vase. Like I said, it has three holes here to put flowers or whatever in. It holds water. It has a stamp on the bottom, Czechoslovakia, but I am not sure the date. Um, this stamp dates it to probably somewhere between the 20s and 30s, so I don't know for sure, but I thought it was a unique and interesting piece. So I grabbed it. This uh, doll head, I guess it would have been a clown. I paid $5 for that. I just thought it was great, you know, <laughs> how I am. The more interesting, the better. And this clown right here, I purchased. The, the only thing wrong that I can see with it is that part of the ruffle around the collar is missing. I cannot remember how much I paid for this guy. I know it was probably $10 or under. But when you move his arm, see his mouth opens? He has a little spot right here in his hand where you would place a coin so that he would eat eat the coins. And then this top right here kind of screws off and opens up so that you can get to your coins in him. But I thought he was really cute. His, his, uh, <laughs> he's a little naked, a little naked because, you know, he may be either lost some weight or his elastic is a little, a little old, but, um, grabbed him because I thought he was cool. Then I also got this, which she has a little bit of a stain on her dress, I guess, or apron. I don't know exactly what you'd call it, but she's from Germany, um, She's an oldie, and she's supposed to, I mean, she doesn't walk or anything like that, but she's, her arms are supposed to move back and forth and her head from side to side, which she does do, but only when you crank on the, uh, the little mechanism right there, because you can't just, like, use it like you normally would, then let go, and then it would move. In order for her to move, you have to actually move the little key there. But other than that, she's in excellent condition. She would be a good display piece, I think. I thought she was just really cute. And I'm pretty sure I paid around $10 for her. And she still has a little sticker on the front. M9 West Germany on the front of her. So I did get the uh, Riggs Funeral Home fan for two dollars and I also got this little case right here that has a bunch of little tiny vials with watch parts in it and that's what it is crowns I guess is what it says for watches but I thought that was awesome I got it for ten dollars the snap doesn't work anymore but I think it's a neat piece I like a little itty bitties like that. I think they're cool. Well, for some strange reason, she decided to work for a second. Okay, I had to move things around so I had a little bit of extra room on the desk. But I got these for $8 a piece. Um, they're the canvas aprons. This one just would have been around the waist. And it was, I think, for a lumber company. Yeah, lumber company. But it's in pretty good shape. Um, you know, there's not any rips or tears or anything like that. And this one right here said, um, this is a full one, um, you know, that goes around the neck and then uh, hangs down. But this one was for um, a 
printing company, I think. Let's see. Quality Papers. Gilbert Quality Papers. But the only pocket it has on it is this little pocket right here at the top, which is a long pocket, which I'm assuming would have been for a pen. So, but I thought those were really neat because I've never um, run across them in the wild. So I got two of those canvas aprons. Um, you've probably seen me um, pick these up. This one, um, Look a Parade. And this one... Merry Christmas, Mr. Snowman. And I'm pretty sure they were a couple dollars a piece. And they're really, really cute. Um, this one had a little bit of an issue with the binding right here, but I fixed it. Um, so it's in, in good condition. It's nice and sturdy again. If I can just get this. But it's got a lot of really cute images um, in here. Um, like circusy kind of images. So... I like that. So I grabbed it. And this one is really cute also. Well. But it's got a lot of uh, really cute images. So those were $4. And then I also grabbed... Oh, these were $15, but I paid $10, and there's 19 of them in here, and they are new old stock, Sunday and a sugar cone. They're old-fashioned drumstick wrappers, and I looked and looked on here. It's Noblesville, Indiana, but I cannot find a date or anything on here, but I thought it was really cute, of course, because you have a guy with a top hat. So I grabbed these, and they are going for a decent amount of money, so I'm going to um, still make a profit on it. And I also grabbed um, a bunch of these Letterman, or, you know, letters for, you know, it would have been like a Letterman jacket for either like varsity or high school or something. Um, but there's a bunch of them in here, and I listed them. Um, individually or grouped, depending. Um, but it looked like it was like a, you know, person that, you know, was a band member um, that had that. And then I got those baby pictures. They were really cute. Um, there was a whole set of them, and I got all of them for $10. Um, but they're kind of faded. And some of the... Um, you know, the frame around there on a few of them, like this one right here, is is got, you know, some issues where it's kind of fallen apart a little bit or been scraped or something. I'm not sure because it's really pretty on this side, but then over here, it's like it's, you know, got some wear and it's got a little driblet of paint or something on it and it's not on the glass. It's actually on the picture. So it happened before it was framed. And it says on here, six-month-old Sue. So. And I want to keep a couple of them, but I'm not exactly sure which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to sell. But I just thought they were too adorable to pass up. Getting the whole stack of them for, you know, $10 was an awesome awesome deal I thought because I thought they were just so cute this one looks like it may be actually an older one but it does have if you look on there some no I had an avalanche like little flicks but it's still a cute picture so I grabbed those and then I also found this Raleigh's Antiseptic Salve. Um, it was $2. I grabbed it um, because there's a lot of people that collect those type of tins. This one is for uh, like a respirator for minors. Um, the, the respirator, of course, is not in here, but um, I got the tin. Um, I think that one might have been $4. And this first aid kit, which doesn't have any content still left in it, but 
it's hinged and another thing that you know not a really expensive tin I, I can't remember two to four dollars also but just a neat piece for display um, because like I said there are a lot of people out there that um, collect tins now I got a whole bag of old Christmas ornaments um, let me grab those really quick and I got them all for ten dollars I was so excited okay we're gonna get into this bag See, like, this says made in Hong Kong, and it's an ice cream cone. And then we have this, which you've seen when I was filming. And it looks like a spun cotton head angel. And here's another one red and there's a handful of these in there and there's also some of these um, that look like you know they're made to look like they're baked baked cookies and then we have fireplace with the stockings and um, a bunch of these little bells. They're plastic. Oh, here's another. Oh no, I already showed you that one. But I'm pretty sure. Oh, here's a pink one. It's a pink one. But. There's another bag of the bells and more, another fireplace and another, another one of the beds with the little clowns or something in it. But I thought that was a huge score, um, to get that whole bag of these vintage ornaments for, um, $10. I mean, that's just crazy. And I got this. I forgot to show you. <laughs> it is heavy as all get out. It is um, actually would have been like a champagne bucket, um, that you would put ice in to chill your champagne or wine or whatever, but it's solid brass and it's a top hat and I paid $30 for this and it is, um, like a standard size top hat. It's huge. I also got two of these aluminum buckets. They're older buckets. Um, they're, I think an eight to $10 a piece. I'm pretty sure I paid like eight. Um, and then I also got these, um, baseballs, um, they're older baseballs for a dollar a piece. And so I grabbed 10 of those. Well, guys, now that I have a huge mess <laughs> that I have to clean up, I hope you really enjoyed the items that I picked up at the flea market. I'm hoping that we can go again this coming week, um, cause the weather is, you know, getting nicer out. So until next time, guys. See you later, and I hope you have a fabulous week.